Hello everybody, this is Backblast here. I'm again on Planet Zoo. Today I'm going to show you how to upload something into the Steam Workshop, but then also download things from the Steam Workshop. The first thing we're going to do is we've created this nice little generator. I'm going to make sure that it's saved as a blueprint. So I'm just going to select it all using the I key down there and then make sure that it's all one piece. So it's one building. Then what we're going to do is we're going to save it as a blueprint. So this brings up another screen. We can now save it as a generator. We'll call it large, large generator. Okay. And we'll say it doesn't actually power the zoo. It's just a piece of scenery. We need to call it something as well. You need to put a tag on, otherwise it won't let you save it and we then create the blueprint so that can now be found in your blueprints down here so if you go into this you can then select my blueprints this is everything that I've saved into my blueprints and we can look for that so we called it large and there it is there's our actual large generator we can use that and then place it in our zoo wherever we wish um, what we can also do is upload to Steam Workshop which is quite simple it's exactly the same sort of thing that we've just done so we're going to call this large generator and then um, there you go scenery item to place over your generators create workshop item now what happens is this is now loading this into Steam so other people will be able to go into Steam look for generators or something like that or, or something that you've created and they will be able to find this. Now there's lots and lots of different things you can do on here have a look through these there's only one of them that's really important and I'll come to that in a second but you can go in and you can change the title and description that you've just put in or you can add other photographs of it so if you if you've created other photographs you can add those um, none of them are really really important um, you can also add links to your other sites so if you're on YouTube or Facebook you can put your links in there and people will be able to find your other pages the one thing that's important is this change visibility if you press change visibility you need to make it public all right otherwise only your friends will be able to see it now I've changed that to public Anybody can go in the Steam Workshop and find this generator and then download it. Great. So how do we download into our zoo? Well, what I need is to come out of this actual zoo. You, you can't be in a zoo to download goods from the Steam Workshop. So what we're going to do is we need to just go back to our main menu. Remember to save your zoo if you're working on it. But you need to go to your main menu to download things. Now, there's a couple of things to remember, um, which I'll tell you about while this is loading. We're going into my zoos down here, and then we're going to go into the Steam Workshop. There we go. A couple of things to remember. So what you need to look for is um, things that don't have DLC that you haven't got. So uh, just bear with me I just need to find something that we can download and what I want to download is lots and lots of things here from Chester Zoo there we go so what I'm going to do is I'm going to download this butterfly house I've selected it it looks nice I'd like this in my zoo all you need to do is you click on this subscribe button okay so uh, do that and it will now appear in your zoo however it does say some games will require you to relaunch them before the item will be downloaded okay so it might not appear immediately you might have to come out of the game and then go back into the game to get it into your zoo but now I've done that let's close this and then let's go back to the game and then let's go back into a zoo I said there's a couple of things you need to watch out for make sure that 
you've got all the DLC. So if somebody's used Australia pieces, you will need the Australia pack to download it. If somebody's used um, South African pieces, you'll need the South African pack. The other thing to remember is if you're in franchise, you will need to research all the pieces before it's available. Otherwise, it will be greyed out. And I'll just show you what I mean by research. So in Zoo here, you need to do the mechanic research for, let's say, all the New World themes, if it's got some of those pieces in, or the Arctic bits, if it's got some of those pieces in. But you'll need to have researched them. Now, not all pieces need research, of course. Now, what happens? How do I get that butterfly house into my zoo? Again, down in blueprints. But instead of my blueprints, these are steam blueprints. And here we have a lovely butterfly house that I can click on and I can place it into my zoo. Uh, quite often, people will find that these are floating up in the air like that. Just press the shift key and drag it down to the height that you want. And there it is. I have a fantastic butterfly house created by this gameware. Uh, which I can then put paths in and I can actually walk through it and uh, this will be added to my house to my zoo there we are it's got a couple of exhibits in the end there but that's how to upload to the Steam Workshop and download from the Steam Workshop and get things into your game that other people have created um, I hope that's been helpful if it has, let me know. Uh, give the video a thumbs up. Um, if you've got any questions, just ask the questions. I'll be able to answer them, no problem. I hope you've enjoyed that. My name's Backblast. I'll catch you next time.